everyone and welcome again to another Sorel Theta Yoga Flow. I'm so happy to be here with you wherever you're at in the world and whatever time it is. This is a pretty chill flow, all levels, and definitely catered to recovery. So whether you're an athlete or you just worked out, went on a hike, maybe you just got back from traveling and your body's just feeling kind of tight, this is for you. So grab your mat, definitely grab some blocks, whatever you need to make it so that your practice feels extremely accessible and enjoyable. And let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start on our backs. So come onto your back, extend the legs out long, and find a place where you can just drop into the body, placing both hands on the lower part of your belly. Start to notice if the hands lift and lower with the belly. If not, that just means that the breath is a little bit higher up in the throat or the chest area, which is normal. And see if you can start to send it lower into our diaphragm, lifting and lowering our palms. I'm just noticing the sensations of your breath. Feeling grateful for these sensations for being able to even feel the ability to breathe and for the ability here to move our body and for showing up and being here. And take an inhale through the nose, open the mouth, let it go. Inhale, filling up. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it go out of the mouth. This time, hold the breath out. And breathing in through the nose. This time, out of the nose. One more, in through the nose. Out of the nose. And taking more breaths if you'd like, or start to flutter the eyes open. You're going to bring your hands by your sides, lift the feet up, point your toes. In your choice, you can keep the head and shoulders down or start to lift them. We're going to do eight little flutter kicks all the way to a hover to the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time, stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring the knees in, rock side to side. I'm really hoping that the noise of these construction workers is not being heard right now when I have to redo this whole thing. I'll be so sad. And as you can see, I still don't have my microphone today. <laughs> so even more so, I hope that you can hear me. Climb the feet down, knees up. Hands come to the back of the head, lift head up, shoulders up. And then bring shins 90 degrees. So you're making a 90 degree angle with your legs. And we're going to toe tap right toes, inhale lift. Left, keep it going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, reach your hands up overhead, press your feet away so you're in a low, low, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, I'm so shaky for 3, 2, 1, let it go. Yeah, forearms are coming on a hand. 
left leg to deepen the twist from the navel. So you're still rooting down in both glutes. And we're already building up some heat. <laughs> Come back to center, inhale. Reach the hands up, 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 up. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, up. Exhale, release them down. One more, inhale, up. This time, draw shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Fire up that belly, pelvic floor lift squeezes. And moving into your tabletop. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale around. So we're gonna do some figure eights. So that may be not your forte, that's okay. Your one side might, one direction might move a little smoother. But thinking of the hips going towards the right foot, then the left, then coming up, and it's literally a whole figure eight, including the shoulders. So maybe like a snake. And take one more in this direction, maybe even bending the elbows as you transfer the weight, and then switch. The other direction. This direction is so much more challenging for me. And if you like, that body doesn't move that fast, that's okay. Just do your best, have a little fun with it. And then come to the neutral, walk the hands forward so your inner puppy pose, forehead down or chin down. Keep the hips lifted. And if this is not feeling good, on the knees, you can come to standing and use the wall, palms against the wall, so your arm distance away, including the legs are hip distance, but arms distance from the wall. Start to curl up the wall as you press your chest toward it and you get that same stretch in the back as well as in front of the arms and the chest. One just adds a little bit of pressure to the knees and if that doesn't feel good, come on up. Inhale, we're gonna slither up, 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 and then lower all the way down. Good. Take the arms out like a cacti, hug the feet together. Inhale, lift everything up, a variation of Shalabhasana, hold here for five. Squeeze the glutes, four. Squeeze the back muscle, three, two, one, let it go. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tabletop. Good. From here, we're going to take a modified side plank. So taking your left foot off the mat to the side, rolling onto the left side, right leg straightens, right arm scoops up. If you're confused, take a little look up here. You can stay here and float the right leg up. Try to keep your head in line with the shoulders so you're not leaning forward or pressing back and arching a bunch. There's a strong line of energy out your head, out your right foot, and out your right hand. There's a lot of things happening. Lift it a little higher, squeeze the glutes, feel the adductors kick in in your thighs. Good, and then we're going to set the right foot down and rise up. Exhale, a little different variation. Instead of pressing your palm into the right leg, keep it hovering a little bit as you take a side bend and it's pose to the right. Feel those obliques, that stretch in the left side. Press the arms back, open the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, hands come down. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Neutral spine, right foot kicks off. Rolling onto the right side, variation of side plank with left arm sweeping up and maybe left leg. You can start to take the left hand up overhead so that you have this long line of energy up the left foot and reaching out of the left fingertips. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Lower left leg down, rise up. Same thing on this side. Start to fold to the left, but keep the left hand hovering. Imagine you're holding that big beach ball. Arms dial back, lift the heart, lift the chest. Breathe, press into both feet. Inhale, come up, exhale, hands down, tabletop, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Take a flow here, any variation if you want to take a high plank and then a chaturanga. 
you do you. I'm going to recommend lowering down chest and chin so you're in our style of mascara, slithering up to your adorable baby cobra. Exhale down. Pedal it out, fill the legs. Bending. We're moving right along. Good. Hold your down dog. For three, two, one. The right foot steps forward. Back knee lowers, low lunge. This time keep the back toes curled for today if that feels okay. If you're like, my toes don't like that, just come to the top of the feet. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Interlace your palms. Moving right into a back bend here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe. Exhale, hands to heart center. Start to twist so left arm hooks outside of right leg, bringing thumb tips closer to in front of your sternum. Feeling that stretch in the back. Stay here and start to float your back knee up for three, two, lift that back heel, one, lower it back down. Open your arms so you have a big T here. Stay just like this or for fun. Start to reach for that back leg. Maybe you touch it. Maybe not, that's okay. Three, two, one, hands come down. If you need your blocks, use your blocks here. Half split, straighten your front leg. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Be mindful if there's any pulling or pinching in the back here. Definitely use your blocks. Message me as well if there is any pinching or pulling, and this does not feel good, and I can send you some alternative ways of getting this hamstring stretch on your back. Breathe. From here, we're gonna do a fun transition. You're gonna start to bend back into that front knee. As you lift your back knee up, you're gonna swivel around to your wide leg fold. side today. Sorry. And then from here you're going to take Skandasana to the back of the mat. Your choice if you want to take it low or high. Doesn't matter, just a different stretch. Fill into the body, make sure there's no knee pain here, a little bit in that front knee. Lots of lift in the heart. And then we're going to make our way back to the front of the mat. Step back, high plank. Holding here, or come onto the forearm plank. Maybe doing five hip dips to each side, or not. One, two, nice and slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press back down the book. Other side, left leg steps forward, rise up. Arms may asana. Then release your palms, move right into that back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist. So right elbow comes to the outside of your left leg. Try to bring the belly off that front thigh. So there's a lot of engagement here in the core rather than it is flopping on your front leg. Which I get, I like to flop too. Lift that back knee if you did so on the other side for three, two, one lower back knee. Make a big T with the arms. Stay here, start to reach for that back leg with your back hand, moving into a back bend if your body likes it. There is a possibility you'll topple over here, and that's okay. Get back up. Maybe set some pillows around. Hands come down, half splits, grab your blocks if you did so on the other side. Lift the heart, lift the chest, exhale, fold. Inhale. 
Maybe swing any forward fold. Rise on up, reach up. Exhale, hands start center. Last side, here we go. Left foot steps back, warrior two. Then put the asana dos. Shoulders come down, squeezing the shoulder blades. Bend into that front knee, press into the back foot. Strong warrior. Forearm to thigh, left arm sweeps up an oversight angle. Maybe take a mudra, index and thumbs together in both hands. Crawl your bottom hand down, or, or your front hand down, bottom leg, straight, front leg, Jesus. Crawl your right hand down the right leg as you straighten it, moving into a wide leg triangle pose. Engage the left side of the body, that way not all the weight is dumping into that right hand. You have a lift here, engagement, maybe some shakes. Left hand comes down. Crawl your right foot to the edge of your mat. Point the toes out. Back heel lifts and find some movement here. A little bouncing, a little sways. Just get silly. And then lower back knee down. Same thing on this side. Find what feels good in your hips here. It might be different per side. Stay here on the hands, really pressing the heart forward or coming onto the forearms. If you use your block, do it again. Notice if the hips are really going to the left, try to bring them level with each other. For me to do that, I have to open up my right foot here so I can see the sole of my right foot. Knee is splaying out. And then I can soften my hip. Inhale, come up onto your hands, step to that molasses. This time we're going to take it low. If you want to sit on some blocks, sit on some blocks. Lift the heart, lift the chest, arms are pressing into the inner legs, opening them. Right hand comes down, left arm up, take a twist. Stay here if a bind is part of your practice, take a bind. You can always use a strap or something to hold on to. Switch left hand down, right arm up. Stay here, take that bind. If crow pose is part of your practice, do it. Because I'm thinking of this more as a recovery, I don't feel the need to do it right now, but you do you. Let it go. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. We're gonna step at one again. And this time our wide legged fold. You might need your block underneath your hands here. And you can keep left hand down, right arm up for a twist. If you want a little more, I'm showing you both, you can take left hand to the outside of your right leg or ankle, right arm sweeps up and over. Maybe you can take a bind. No right or wrong, just whatever feels good on your body. I even like to drop my left forearm down. Inhale, come through center, you have your block. Now right hand's gonna come onto the block. The left arm sweeps up. And if you took that other variation, right hand reaches for the outside of the left leg, left arm up. Or take that bind, maybe dropping right forearm onto the mat. Keep opening the heart. Twist in. Breathe into the hamstrings. Breathe into the whole body. Hands come forward. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. So just some cat cows in this wide like a stance. Good. And then we're just gonna heel to our feet a little closer and move on to our seat. Head so we're gonna take a half hero's pose, also known as Trinamuka Hashimoto Nasana. Kuyokasi, Sukomukasi, I think that's right. 
If you have a block, let's first try with a block unless you know this pose pretty well and you know you're woody. You're gonna bring it, first you're gonna take your right foot towards your bum and then you're gonna bring the block underneath your right glute. Right leg is extended out. I'm gonna show from the side. I 
exhale, release. I'm gonna take a regular fold here. If you want bent knees, bent knees, or your strap, use your strap. Big breath in, exhale, fold into your Paschimottanasana. Because, like I said, the expectation is that you're more warm here, maybe even bringing a block to the fronts of the feet. Adding a little extra layer to your fold. If it feels good, I know it feels good from my Thank you. Part of it is being here with you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.